Hey my lovelies, it's Mitch here. I'm just coming on to do this Bank Holiday Monday guidance reading for you all. So I just want to say thank you so so much to everybody that came to support me um, on Saturday in Hungerford at Heart Song Gems run by the beautiful Evelyn. It's an amazing little sort of mystical crystal sort of shop. Um, I was really, really feeling the love. There was so much magic from spirit. There was so much validation via the tarot. So if you came along for readings there, just thank you very, very much because it was an absolutely beautiful day. So what are we going to do today? So today I feel very drawn to working with the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. And this is by Amanda Lovelace. Now, I had a little bit of a wobble over the weekend. I'm not going to go too into it, but basically I had a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of sort of um, shade was thrown my way, we will say. And it always makes me kind of really question people's mindset, people's behaviours. You know, if you're getting offended by something that I'm doing or not doing, you know, for me, it's more a case of look at why are you being offended by that? Um, you know, because everything I do... I, I try and do from a place of, you know, love, integrity and truth. Yes, I'm a full time reader. So this is my business. This is what I do for my income, my way of life. So, yes, I have to charge for my work, but I try and keep my work, you know, done ethically, whether I'm doing private one to one reads or I'm um, doing mediumship demos, whether they be very small or if they be bigger on the stage. And it seemed that there was someone that sort of took a bit of offence because I'm getting some stage work. But do you know what? I've worked bloody hard to kind of reach that point. And so I'm not actually going to apologise for that. Um, and if anybody has got an issue or doesn't like the fact that I'm kind of now accessing some of those types of um, venue, it says more about you than it does me. So, you know, ask yourself, why are you kind of, you know, um, being threatened by that? Or why is that bugging you? You know, because for those people that come to my shows, whether they're on stage or whether they're still in the back of a pub or wherever, most people come away feeling better than when I first found them. And that's the purpose of serving spirit. So believe in your own magic. You know, this title in itself really is important I feel at the moment that message before we even look at the cards that message really believe in yourself and be bloody proud of who you are and if there are some arseholes trying to sort of throw you under the bus or sort of hold you back it says more about them than you and I did have a wobble because you know I am human I'm not made of stone um, you know and we all get vulnerable from time to time so yeah Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on it, but it did it did sort of piss me off, I'm going to say, you know, and, um, and I'm going to own that for what it is. And if people are listening to this video thinking, oh, God, you know, Mitch is on one today. Yeah, I just felt completely unnecessary. I mean, some of you lovelies that follow me, you've seen me grow. You've seen me flourish. Some of you guys have been with me from the, the very beginning when I was at Circle, you know, and everything else. And you've seen sort of what I've gone on to do. So nothing that's come to me has been given on a plate. I've worked bloody hard for spirit. It is an absolute gift that spirit sort of work with me. But, you know, I've worked my ass off and continue to work my ass off. So, yeah, I'm not going to feel bad about that. Anyway, let's shelve that to one side and let's look at what the Monday message is. So these are the cards. So going to give them a knock, going to give them a shuffle. So I'm asking spirit for the highest of good to show us what we need to know with the cards this week. Oops, I will know when because one will literally pop itself at me. Oh, they're really going for it today, guys. <laughs> Giving these a deep shuffle. Okay, there we go. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> maybe because I had the rant, I'm not sure. So we've got a throne. And it just says here at the bottom, 
your potential is endless. And I think this is key to success. I think, you know, be proud of where you are at. Stop and look at the world around you. Stop and look at your own sort of perspective, your own place in the world and see what you've already achieved. Celebrate your victories, celebrate your successes, you know, see what you've already turned your hand to, but also be open to the possibilities of what is still to come, what is still accessible for you. And don't let any sort of arseholes hold you back. Don't let anybody with hidden agenda or jealousy come at you, you know, with whatever kind of garbage they maybe have got going on. Don't allow anybody else's mindset to devalue or to rob your capabilities and where you still have access to go. So throne, you know, we're looking at things from a higher perspective. We're sort of kind of going up on our energy levels and our vibrations and we can sort of see out and maybe you've got a vision or an idea of where you want to be in the world or what you would still want to um, achieve or experience and again your potential is endless there are endless amazing possibilities endless amazing adventures that are in store for you so as long as you give yourself permission to have those experiences as long as you know the reasons why you're having those experiences and you're not hurting or harming anybody else around you, that is enough. That's what I feel the message is this week. So I'm going to leave that with you because I think it definitely says what it sort of needs to say on the tin. Oh, interesting. So where can you guys find me this week? So just to let you know, Thursday and Friday, I'm going to be over at Colour and Crystals um in Trowbridge doing a double evening weekend a uh, double evening night of um one to one reads so if you want to kind of see me for face to face readings Thursday and Friday colour and crystals six o'clock until nine o'clock uh drop Joe a message at the shop and she can get you booked in I'm also going to be in Swindon on Saturday. I'm fully booked for reads there. I have one space left for a reading on Sunday at the Be Well and Calm um, Spiritual Fair. So you can come and catch me there if you would like to. So yeah, I've got a busy old week. Just want to let you guys know as well, tonight I haven't done a live for absolutely ages, but I had this really overwhelming feeling like I wanted to do one of my time to gift back lives so i'm going to be coming on this evening it's going to be on my group page my facebook group page um so i'll be live this evening from 7 30 until around about nine we might go over a little bit because you know what i'm like once i get chatting and everything else um so come and see me there and it'll be very short little sort of sharp short and sharp little messages um, coming in via the tarot and spirit world. So I'm going to use my guided pause tarot this evening. I might use my wizard within oracle cards and whoever wants to step in and have a chat from spirit. So come along, get involved. It's a free live. All I ask is if you join, please don't tell me who you want to connect with. Let the medium do the work. It's no good you sort of saying, I want to get hold of mum or dad or whatever. Let me tell you who's coming in for you. OK, um, that's the only sort of condition I have, if possible, please. Thank you very much. So I will look forward to seeing some of you lovelies this evening. And if not, you know, through maybe throughout the week, have a beautiful day, Bank Holiday Monday. Have a beautiful week ahead and I will see some of you very soon. Take care. Love and blessings. Bye for now.